John, this is Perry in Brookings. How you doing? Hey, very good. Hey, I don't know if anyone's asked has happened to listen to the whole thing, but just curious, what kind of feedback are you getting from constituents, and have you heard from other senators on the response bill, on the stimulus bill? Is this something people want passed, and, and they want their rebates, basically? Well, I think that people, uh, of course, everybody loves a, <laughs> you know, a, a check, a rebate check, and so there's a lot of support for it in, in, uh, across the country and a recognition, I think, that um, when you face an, an uncertain economy, you want to take every step that you can to keep from going into a recession. The Fed is acting on the monetary policy side of this by lowering interest rates, and I think people want to see the Congress and the President work together on the fiscal side, although I have, um, I think that the, uh, the things that we do in terms of this um, $150 million package, so to speak, it's about 1% of the size of the gross domestic product, and I'm not sure what, how much of an impact it has, but I think it's, it's a signal, at least to the markets, it's a signal to people across this country that we can attack a problem and that uh, we're going to do everything we can from a fiscal policy standpoint to make sure that we don't slide into a recession uh, and, uh, and, and possibly uh, that we can take steps to avert the deeper economic downturn that we might be looking at. So there's a good amount of support out there for it. Uh, there are also people who I've talked to, Perry, who uh, raise concerns about uh, how this is being paid for and whether or not it's really necessary. And by the time the checks get out there, will we already be emerging from this? And, and are we you know, reacting too quickly? The clinical definition of a recession is two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth. We've not had one yet, um, but we are seeing some signals and some signs out there that there's a lot of economic anxiety and uncertainty and unemployment numbers and inflation and whatnot. So the, the reaction, I think, is uh, you know to demonstrate that uh, the Congress and the White House can work together across party lines to address this problem is, is an important uh, message to the American people. And I think the American people, if they receive a check, they will go out and, uh, and help uh, expand and, and keep the economy growing. So I think there's some value in what's being done here. But I would simply say, as a, as a fiscal conservative, that I have some concerns about uh, borrowing from future generations in order to do this. That's, uh, that's, again, that's, uh, you, know, that you have to try and reconcile uh, that conviction and, and view and sort of philosophical view I have of the world with the need to keep this economy from uh, sinking in, uh, any deeper and from the job loss that might come with that and the, the, economic, the adverse economic impact that could come with that. So it's a, it's a balance we're all trying to strike. All right, Senator Marty Cook from KOTA Radio. Hi. Um, uh, I know that the Great Plains uh, Tribal Chairman's Association met last uh, week with the Interior Secretary, or the Assistant to Sec uh, Interior Secretary, and I think there were some, they said anyway, there were some people from your office that were supposed to be there representing you. Um, could you give us an update on what happened there at the meeting? Well, I, uh, Marty, I guess I will have to... Uh, admit that I have not consulted with my staff about that yet. I know they were meeting. I've not seen the, the report that came out of that, so I will check back uh, and uh, we will get back to you on that. Okay, thank you. Senator? Yes. Thank you. Okay. What do you think of the President's um, talk recently of perhaps the pause in the drawdown of